WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, one hour left to go in the trading day, and we got markets in negative territory. We got some job openings this morning, not as many jobs open as the market may have anticipated, maybe pointing to the fact that the economy, not quite as strong as maybe the market anticipated, leaving room for the Fed to cut a little bit more aggressively than maybe was priced in, and we got a move in yield, and you have an inversion, a RIA. How do they frame it? Let's pull it up. Uh, disinverts. I knew when I said it's not an inversion. It had been inverted. It disinverts. The two-year, the 10-year, they're both sitting at about 3.77 right now. They're both sitting 10-year and two-year, 3.77%. We'll talk about that coming up this hour, filling in for my dad. Uh, he's out with an appointment. He'll be back tomorrow, but I got Jacob Shoup. He's going to be joining the program at 3.30 as well. We got a lot of action in this market. This ahead of the non-farm payrolls on Friday, but markets... With one hour left to go in the trading day, S&Ps, you could make the case that the S&Ps, and you know this is following the downward action yesterday, you see it on the chart here, from about 56.60 down to almost 5,500 overnight. We've trailed lower this session from almost 55.65 at 11 a.m. We're 45 points off the highs right now, trading down 21 points at 55.20. But boy, you talk about a move. There's your tenure. Just to start the week we're at 113 12 we're at 114 17 we're pushing intraday highs right now and that is the 10-year zn you jump over to the two-year and there's your two-year and that is a mammoth move on the two-year right now in the two-year as i mentioned sitting right at 3.77 percent now the two-year had been higher and that has come down as the odds and the market pricing in a fed that's going to be cutting more aggressively than maybe anticipated so what's happened, you've had the two-year yield really pull back, and now it actually dipped below the 10-year for the first time since 2021 today. So we are coming out of it. We get Friday jobs number. We got a lot to talk about today. We'll talk about some of the job openings numbers in terms of that number. We'll talk about the treasuries. What else do we got pulled out? Yeah, the beige book today that we're going to talk about as well, and we'll take a look at that yield curve. And there it is. We get the 10-year off eight basis points, 3.77. The two-year right now off 12 basis points. How about the one-year off 12 basis points? You get the one-year yield at 4.22%. Think about what that's saying about rates when you have the current FOMC rate at five and a quarter to 5.5%. And they're only going to give you for a one-year treasury 4.22. The market is pricing in some cuts, job openings. Not that many is what the market talked about. We'll be back in three minutes to talk about it all, folks. Don't go away. Be right back. <laughs> 